Hello everyone. Today I'm at S&R Motors Volkswagen in Donegal Town, County Donegal. All this little information about this dealership will be mentioned in the description box below. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you a full review of this 2008 Honda Civic IV Tech Type S. In this review you're going to be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain all the features work. We'll also start up, go over the performance data and go around the exterior. So let's begin. Type S logo, class seats, that's the seat belt thing, it's beeping to let me know I don't have a belt on. This car is 56,684 miles. Select between your stations, CD player, it also has an auxiliary import, you can scan the frequency, but to be honest, there's three controls to scan the frequency, you can use this button here, this knob, or these buttons, and to be honest, that's just three buttons too many, you only really need the one, and that's this knob here, MP3 and WMA compatible, up here is the digital clock along with the radio station, Speedo, red and blue dial rev limiter, ashtray, storage compartment, but there's also room in here for two drinks, another storage compartment here. Storage in the center console, which has a nice cloth top. Air conditioning and climate control settings. Full power sunroof. It's a size quilt box. This car is power locks, mirrors and windows. Can I adjust the mirror? Up and down. I can stack left, or if I put in the center, it doesn't stack any of them. So let's take a look at the back seat. To get into the back, you just press this lever, and the seat slides forward itself. Loads of legroom in this car. Good bit of headroom as well. Rear windows. Speaker and cup holder. Same can be found back here. Rear seats are very comfortable as well. Rear visibility isn't the best. I'll show you this in the exterior, but Honda puts some kind of spoiler design across the rear window. Get back into the front. So let's start up this car. 
is in the start stop button. Windows. Also turn on the headlights and fog lights and the hazards. Place the bonnet, fuel for the cap. LED indicators on the side wheels, triangular shaped fog lights. One thing I'll say about this car is it's not particularly good looking. It's much too big for a Honda Civic. The whole idea of Honda Civics is that they're small, easy to use hatchbacks. This one is just way too big, bigger than a Golf. Photo cap. This is the rear spoiler idea I was talking about. The way it's just some kind of bulging strip going across the rear window, which looks kind of ridiculous. If Honda really wanted to put a spoiler in this car, they could have just done an attachment on the roof, as you would see with most hatchback cars. Trying for exhaust. One thing this car does have a lot of is room, as you can see here with the boot, nice and deep, you can store quite a bit of luggage in this car. controls here to adjust the radio channels, the volume and mode settings. This is your cruise control, you can adjust the speed and then you can cancel it using that button. Let's turn off the headlights and fog lights. Very smooth without a wrapped steering wheel, the coloured stitching. The engine in this car is a 1.8 litre iVTEC. Produces 138 brake horsepower, produces also 128 torques, and goes on to a top speed of 127 miles an hour. So let's turn off all these lights and the radio. And we'll see how this car sounds. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this full in-depth review of the 2008 Honda Civic Type S VTEC. Remember to rate, comment and subscribe and stay tuned to be plenty more videos to come. Thanks everyone.